Okay, so today we're looking at how to create and invoke a function. Um, and to do that, I will show you an example and we'll go through all of the different things you can do. Well, probably not all of them, but just sort of a basic overview of what's going on. Um, so kind of in a nutshell, a function is something that you can call that allows you to perform a certain task over and over again. For example, I can write a function that adds two numbers together. Um, this is already handled by an operator, the plus sign, but you could imagine a world in which that doesn't happen. Or, or you know, maybe there's something that's a little more complicated, like you want a function that adds um, you know, five numbers together or something, and instead of typing a plus sign four times to do that, you'd rather just create a function and put a bunch of numbers and commas all over the place. That's perfectly legitimate. Either way, um, functions can be used to sort of, sort of as, as a shortcut, and I will show you an example right now. Um, so right now I just have this form. I should Make this a little smaller. Um, I just have this form. There's a read-only text box and a button called, uh, I just called execute. Um, and here in the code, I'm going to say whatever the, you know, let's, let's make this a little more interesting. Okay, so we have this text box here. I'm gonna put in another text box. This will be text box two. So that one is clearly uh, not read-only. You can type stuff in. Um, save that. So back here, we've got, um, I've just got an event handler for clicking the button, right? And we're going to say that, um, let's just say that what, what we'll, we'll do text box one, which is the original text box I made, the read only one, uh, dot text equals, uh, let's take, well, actually, so here have to dim uh, the vowel, sure, as a double, right? Because you could type anything in. Um, so we're going to do that, and then we're going to double dot try cast, or try parse, rather. <laughs> um, we're going to do text box two dot text. Oops, didn't mean to do that. It's, it's funny how keys map from when you're in a Windows virtual machine, right, um, but you're on a Mac and the keys don't really match up. Anyway, that has nothing to do with anything. Um, we're going to dump the value from text box 2 into the val, which is a double as we defined it up here. And we're going to say text box one dot text equals, uh, we're just going to say the val times the val plus 5. I don't doesn't really do anything. It's just random garbage I came up with. And we run it. Um, you know, and, uh, you know, we've got to gotta compile uh, as part of the build process, so it's taking a second. Um, but, you know, I can type in 2.2, .2 and I'm just going to assume this is correct, right? So we squared 2.2, .2, um, and then we added 5. Uh, so there you go. That works. Um, but anyway, let's say you wanted to, this is this is fine as it is, you know, it was easy enough to write, but let's say you wanted to do this a bunch. Like, let's say, uh, let's just, um, we'll do this again, right? But we'll have a text, so that should be text box three, and this is, oops, don't like when it does that, but this is text box four, right? And I'll make this one read only. So we want to do this a couple of times and, you know, confirm text box three, text box four, right? And I'm so darn lazy that I just can't be bothered to type text box four dot text equals the val times, uh, well, now we have to put in a second one, right? Dim, because we have a second text box. So we're doing all of this junk to get that information out. Double try parse text box three dot text the val two. Okay, 
Um, so the Val 2 times the Val 2. But I'm, I'm just lazy. I, you know, I, I can't be bothered to do what I just did in two seconds. Um, so instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a function. Um, and what that does is it allows me to replace this longer thing with uh, something pretty fast, and I can just pass it values. Um, so I'm going to show you two different ways of doing that. Um, so we're going to do private function, which is just, you know, it's a function, and um, it's part of that. We're going to just call it uh, floof. I don't even know. I just made that up. Um, the first one I'm going to show you is by val, which is the, the default. Um, so we're going to do by val. Uh, we'll call this just val val, I don't know, as double, right? And that's done. And, and function is dumped in automatically for us. Um, and then what we will do is we're going to return a value. And what returning means is that it'll actually pass a value back. So if I say like text box one dot text equals floof and I have to put the number in parentheses, then it'll send it back. And we need to define what type that is as double here. Um, Anyway, um, um, let's see. So I said uh, I'm going to say return val val uh, times val val plus five. And I'm going to go ahead and replace this here. And I know I'm just kind of typing things right now, um, but I'll explain what's going on in a second here. Um, the val two. Anyway, um, blah, 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 double try parse. Okay, so what's, what's going on here is that in this case, um, what the function is doing is when you put a number in the parentheses um, or a variable name such as the val, right, um, we get it, it because it's by val, which is short for by value, um, we copy the, the information that's in the val, whatever we typed into uh, this text box here. And we're gonna just copy that value and dump it in here and then return sends it back out. So whatever you know you set it equal to, in this case text box dot one uh, text box one dot text, it will get the value from the val um, from this function from floof the val, right? Um, which is just the value squared plus five. Uh, <laughs> and that's basically, that's basically it. Um, by val, I should mention, is the default. Um, I can just do that. It's, it's not great, you should probably specify, but you can do that and it'll copy it, copy it by value. So we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how this works here. I'm gonna run this. Um, and they type, let's just do 2.2, because I already did that. I'll put 3 in here. Execute, and you'll notice we get the same 9.84 from before. And then 3 times 3 is 9, uh, plus 5 is 14. Uh, so it worked. And you'll notice that it basically just did the same thing. Um, we copied the value from there, and we're dumping it back into here. Now, there's another way to do this, um, and I'll show you here what's going on. And it requires a bit of a rewrite in the code in the bottom, but there's something called by ref. Um, let's call this val val as double. Um, and what by ref does is it means by reference. And what I'm basically doing at this point is copying, it is not copying anything. I'm actually pointing to the, the variable that I pass to it. So in this case, um, you can't really do this here, which I really, I, when I write functions, personally, I tend to do things by val rather than by ref. Um, but there are certainly tons of uses for both of them. Um, and in this case, uh, what will happen is that the actual, you are passing the variable itself. Um, by reference, you're passing a reference to this variable in the function. So you are actually changing the value 
of that variable. So I would say something like the val equals the val times the val plus five. Or, oops, I mean val val, right? Should do a better job of naming variables. Um, I mean, it makes sense to me, but you know, if someone else looks at this code, they're just going to be like, what, what's going on, <laughs> right? Um, so there we go. And text box for dot, um, yeah. Dot, yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to floof the val down here and floof the val too. And then we're going to equals the val. So what and oops and and the val too. Um, and what this does is it actually changes. Oh right, <laughs> can't name it the same thing twice, right? So floof too, right? Um, you are actually changing the value of the val as defined up here and up here in the val too. And then you're setting it, so it's a it's a bit different because you're not you're not dealing with values, you're not returning anything, you're just passing the the variable up to the function directly and saying, "Hey, deal with this." Um, and it's going to change it, you know, it's changing it permanently. So if I keep, you know, and I'll show you this too. So we're gonna, you know, we have to rebuild everything, right? Okay, so two point two and three, right? So I can click that, it's 9.84 and 14. Um, and it looks the same on the surface, but the actual processes that are being performed to it are very, very different. So, so that's kind of what's going on in a nutshell here. Um, these are two different ways of doing a similar thing, um, but again, this is a very basic example of what functions can do. Usually when you write a function, you're not just performing some simple task like I'm showing here, it's actually something very complex. Um, and in that case, you may even blend usages of by, by val, passing things by val or by ref, um, just because that's how uh, that's how the, what the, you know, that's what it needs. That's what you need to do. And, um, that's sort of the power of that difference. Um, but anyway, I hope you learned, uh, something <laughs> from this rambling, um, and that that helped clarify a bit of what's happening in functions. Um, all right. <laughs>